Hi, I'm Steph, the creator of Cute Little Fuckers, here to answer another community question of yours. This one is, when did I start getting involved in, um, like, queer activism? A uh, little content warning here. This one uh, involves some bullying and things like that. So, when I was in high school, I was exploring my sexuality and um, confided in a few friends that uh, I felt like I was queer and... The word got out in a way that wasn't very intentional to me. Uh, and I became the only openly queer person in a religious um, school. And that was really, I, I wasn't expecting the intensity of the negative feedback I received there. I thought it was going to be no big deal. Because honestly, for me, it didn't feel like a big deal. I was like, oh, I'm queer. I like oranges. Like, it's 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 all the same thing. Um, but then when I showed up to school that next day, um, half the people I knew wouldn't speak to me. Um, lots of people were um, bullying me, saying mean things. And I, I kind of took that. It was nice I in the sense that I didn't, I mean, none of it was nice, but like, I'm proud of myself because I didn't take that as like, I was wrong. I just very clearly felt that like everyone else was totally missing the point and totally wrong. And so I, I really took it upon myself. Um, and then also with the help of a good friend to uh, work to try to start a organization to do, um, to, you know, help end some homophobia in the school, a gay straight alliance. Uh, I fought for that for over a year um, through many, um, some triumphs and tribulations. I, it's hard, hard to name all of them from wading through um, threat, call threats to my house and petitions to get me kicked out of school and even members of the administration um, coming after me to stop me. It was, it was one hell of an adventure. And simultaneously, there were tons of people, at least a dozen people, half of them anonymously, half of them not, who reached out to me were like, I'm gay, I'm queer, and I've never told anyone. And like, thank you so much for what you're doing. And like a, a really big piece of myself was really born during that time, just seeing like how how much, and I was in Philadelphia, this is a pretty liberal city, and seeing just how much work still <laughs> needed to be done in that area. Um, and I worked for a couple of years and, and then um, when I left and I, I didn't make it happen. Um, I, I did, you know, create some safe space for some of those people. And um, my goal of making the org organization never happened. And I think that's something that laid dormant in me for a while. Because when I started Cute Little Fuckers, there was, there was a part of me that felt like I, I was picking back up that, that work that was so hard and honestly left me extremely traumatized. I'm even like, feel like I'm about to cry now. Um, and I'm just so grateful that with cute little fuckers, I can continue that work to support my queer community. I just love you all so much. I am here for you and with you all. I am so glad that my toys can, <laughs> can help like normalize sexuality and these sexual experiences for everyone. I really do feel like cute little fuckers is like first and foremost, just an extension of my activism and positive work in the world. And the fact that it actually makes me money to live as a disabled person is, I'm just, I'm really grateful for you all, for every one of you who has gotten a toy for making that happen. Thank you so much. And for all of you who are, you know, living your lives, normalizing these experiences and supporting each other in community. Thank you so much for your work. I love you all.